What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! I recently did a short and uh, got quite a few uh, hits, views, and uh, you know it's it's a big it's a big search term, guys. The reason why it's easy to get content out with Harbor Freight is because everybody likes looking at it, and or everybody looks at it. Everybody buys stuff from there. I bought stuff from there, and uh, I'm not the most uh, uh, conducive person to promote Harbor Freight. And we're going to go over a couple reasons why, okay? So, and I'm going to explain my uh, disliking for Harbor Freight uh, in a valid situation and what translates to you guys. So, we're going to look here at the new tools that are coming out, and I'm going to explain to you a couple things about this right here. Because it seems to be there's a lot of bad information out there. In fact, there is so much bad information from people who want to do tool reviews, and they just j billy goat jump on top of... The name Harbor Freight. In fact, Snap-on is used quite a bit too. Guys that literally have no idea what they're talking about. Being in this business, and and quite frankly, I don't care what they do, and I'm not going to dog on their channel, react to them, what all that stuff. And and what whatever they do is fine. Okay, you know, hey, however you want to make your dollar, that's okay. But with that being said, you have to understand when you're going to Harbor Freight what you're paying for. Okay. They're, they're upgrading the Braun light here, which I really do like. And keep in mind, guys, I'm not paid by any of this. My, my, only, my only claim to fame for this is by uh, whatever YouTube pays me, whatever little bit of YouTube pays me by doing this. Uh, obviously, I'm not sponsored by Harbor Freight or anybody. And uh, I say what I want. I don't like corporations. I don't, I don't like companies. I don't like anybody. Anybody who has a business has a key, a key component in the game where they want to promote themselves, okay? So, at the end of the day, I promote who I want to promote, and I do that for a reason, because companies change their directions all the time. You know, when they're starting to make a bunch of money, they'll start putting out a bunch of crap. And, uh, and anyways, let's let's move in, into this here. I digress. Anyways, Icon Light here. This is a copy of their Brawn, which is an upgrade, in my opinion. And the reason is, right here, at this hinge on the Brawn Light, is a piece of crap. Now, they do have a plastic hinge here, but it looks like they put a bigger pivot point in on that hinge, so that makes it better. Also, the power button is not as easy to turn off and on like the Braun light was. They're using an 18650 cell in there, which is definitely awesome. The price is fair, and uh, obviously they're going to compare it to Streamlight because that's the big name, which, in my opinion, that's subjective to whoever, whatever light you like. Um, it does have the magnet on the bottom, which I like, so... This is actually a kind of a nice little light, and I definitely don't mind it. Stick lights are awesome. I personally use my Astro light. I love it because it's wireless rechargeable, very well built. It is a little bit more money. I believe that light costs right around $79. Now, if you wanted to be, do a fair comparison to a light, that's what I would probably compare this to because you're talking about a light that has some clout as being very reliable. Guys, in a DIY situation, you might be able to get away with this light and use it for a long time if you're gingerly uh, using it and taking care of it and, and, and watching it. But in a everyday use setting as a professional mechanic, let me tell you, that's where the true test comes in and that's why I try to give you advice based on my experience. It is real world use and destruction and brutal uh, brutal use, okay, uh, with heat and multiple people touching it. Uh, the biggest, the hardest part of on, on a tool, guys, is the fact that other guys in the shop borrow them, use them. I loan my stuff out all the time to people. It gets used and beat up and battered, okay, versus somebody who's just maybe using it in their home shop and doing stuff, and that is okay. But keep that in mind when you go to shop for something, okay? So remember, if you are in a daily use situation, Looking at Harbor Freight might not be the situation for you. I'm just telling you that as pure honesty. So anyways, let's move back to what else is going on here. Now, I want you to look. These are, I'm just going to look at this first page of new products. We've got the gimmicky 10 millimeter Essential Set, which is absolutely... These things here are some of the dumbest things I've ever seen invented. And yet they go all the way from Snap-on selling a set to Napa... Uh, Carlisle, and I mean, they range obviously from prices from 15, 16 bucks here all the way up to $300. What's the point? I don't know why people lose their 10 millimeters. It blows my mind. As a mechanic, I hardly ever lose my 10 millimeters. In fact, the most one I probably use is a 13 or a 15. 
to be honest with you. So I don't know where it came up of, and it was a joke and it was funny. But now it's kind of like why everybody jumps on this bandwagon, and it's a sales gimmick. Okay, they see this set, and you're like, oh, well, that's the same set I can buy with the Snap-on truck. Only pay $16.99 for it, and it's a Pittsburgh. You get what you pay for, guys. It's a cheaper material, cheaper built stuff, and, and then once again, it might get you by in a pinch, okay? But as far as, this is more of a novelty item for $16.99, in my opinion. That is not a good tool. Now, here we got the Icon Lights, 2100 Lumens. These are obviously going off of the uh, Maxion lights. That's what this is. A snap on, and I guarantee it. Let's just click on this. 100% guarantee you they're going to compare this to the snap on. Anybody want to bet? Take any bets on it? Snap on. Wow. 91.50. So you get to save all that money. Now, I want you to look at something else here. Always be mindful of this when you're looking at lights. And that is the warranty. Anything at Harbor Freight. Guys, looking at the warranty on these things, right there, 90-day warranty. Harbor Freight is literally the slickest operator in the entire tool industry. And let me tell you, everybody's dirty. I don't care if it's Snap-on, Maco, everybody's dirty when it comes to the tool industry. It's, it's a cutthroat industry behind closed doors. You just don't see what I see. I've been into the, the 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 meetings and and seen and heard the guys and and heard the sales guys and and it just is what it is and companies don't like me because I am not scared to tell that but the ninety day warranty and then everybody say well CP what about I just buy the extended warranty why do you have to pay twice for an extended warranty so you pay the ten dollars twenty dollars for the extended warranty on this the thing breaks in in one hundred and twenty days. And now you got to go buy another warranty. So you you only got a, a four-month warranty on this thing. And then you had to buy it over again? That's just not right. If I buy this same light from Snap-on, the ECP RA072, and I, let's say Snap-on gives me a one-year warranty because I'm sure that's probably what it is. If I break that light in six months and then I hit return it, I that warranty is still good from the six months that I bought it without having to upgrade or anything like that. Not only that, it might even actually start over in some cases because my dealer is going to take care of me. I'm not here to tell you to not buy Harbor Freight. I'm telling you to pay attention to what you're doing when you're buying from Harbor Freight. Okay, if you're going to buy something, and let's say you're in a pinch and you're on the road, I'm going to spend the $29.99 and buy the, the Braun light because I need it right then and there, knowing that that light doesn't mean anything to me. I spent the $30, and as long as it lasts, is as long as it lasts to me. Okay, that's what I do when I go to buy something from Harbor Freight. No jokes or ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, that's the ins and outs of that. Also, things like Icon, um, we're not going to look at that light bar, but things like Icon, if I'm going to want to buy something that's going to be more durable, that's probably where gonna, I'm going to look. And then you're going to want to price shop, because you're going to want to see, you know, what's what's what. What's worth this and what's that. The other thing you want to pay attention to with Harbor, Harbor Freight is they're the masters of lookalikes, okay? Let's make it look like something and then sell it to you and then it doesn't perform. If you guys pay attention to anything from Project Farm, Torque Test Channel, you will know. Let me just go into this. Let's just look at the Braun uh, Bauer, excuse me, Bauer uh, drill driver. Why do you think this thing looks like the way it does? Because it's physically... Trying to now. Here's the funny thing about it is they use the Bauer to compare it to Ryobi, but one thing you just don't pay attention to is they get you on the price. Their main focus is to get you on the price. What they don't, what you don't look at is the fine print, the small details. Ninety day warranty, guys. Ryobi has a three year warranty, and I don't condone buying Ryobi, but the reality of it is, are you going to spend ninety nine dollars on a product? That has a three-year warranty or $59 on a product that has a 90-day warranty. These are the things that I just want people to understand. It's not me hating Harbor Freight. It's the fact that they pull this wool over your eyes. And granted, this tool might last you three years without any problems because honestly, in my opinion, most cordless tools is not the problem. The problem is the stinking batteries. The batteries is where it's the money's at. And I've said this time and time again on my channel. The batteries are what cost you. Okay? I have had tons of people that have rode my coattails when I told them that the tool is not the issue. It's the batteries. And everybody just start. oh, I guess I can see what you're saying. Because I'm not literally looking at 
what it's going to cost me to prepare the tool. I want to know what, what the battery platform is going to be like. What's it going to be like to replace? Can I fix the battery myself when the battery goes bad? Guys, I run DeWalt for a reason. I, I, the reason why I run DeWalt is because the batteries are super, super easy to repair. And I believe a guy, 65 Fords, his name, has a channel. He's even shown where he's replaced batteries with old batteries and fixed them. And that's kind of how I am. I'm, it's not about me spending the money. It's not about the money for me. Like spending, it's, it is about the money, but you can save a lot of money by being smart, okay? And that's the one thing about Harbor Freight is, is that you have to be very keen on what they're doing in their plan. Anyways, guys, I'm going to drop this video off right here. And if this does good and you like this and it seems like you understand and get what I'm saying and you're not hateful and you're not being negative and you're understanding where I'm coming from on this, that Harbor Freight just doesn't provide you with, uh, you know, I mean, they got a verified buyer here. They're doing exactly like Amazon does. Uh, you know, and look at this. This is the recently viewed. I look at this stuff all the time, guys, uh, and compare it and look at stuff because honestly... I want to see if something's worth the money or not. So just let me know down in the comment box if you like, if you want to hear more about my insight about this, then I, I definitely will appreciate helping you out. It's not about me telling you not to buy Harbor Freight. It's about me telling you what to watch for and showing you how to shop smartly and buy things anywhere. All of my channel is basically done about that. I have literally tried to do everything that I do and help people out by finding the best bang for your buck. That's all I care about. It doesn't benefit me from the company. I don't get kickbacks from the companies. I'm not getting anything. Sometimes I have an affiliate link where I get a little bit back. But that's hardly anything, guys. An affiliate link doesn't pay you crap. None of that stuff does. The bigger thing is, is helping you guys out. And that means more to me than anything. And that's what I've always done from the beginning. And nothing has changed or will change. So anyways, guys. Appreciate you watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell, member. Keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.